75 at the time. Imagine a 75 year old lady coming into the bank and making a withdrawal of $100,000. Now, to the average person, I think over some time, you start to see somebody's account going down $100,000 over the course of a one month period or $100,000 every week. You're going to say to yourself, maybe something's going on, but she's coming in there and she's withdrawing the money and then she's taking the money and she's sending it to uh, a signature bank out there in New York. And then they take the money and they move it to a Coinbase account and the Coinbase account is attached to a crypto uh, account profile or portfolio that's been created in her name on Coinbase. So the scammers create a a fraudulent account with Coinbase with her name. So now she thinks that she's transferring it to a cryptocurrency on her behalf. So then they transfer it over there. And this is April, 2021, right? So they move the money money over there. The $660,000 is sent over there. Then the guy tells her, look, we're gonna call you back. We're gonna call you back and then we're gonna tell you about the next steps. So then she's sitting there in may she's waiting for the phone call she's like okay i i remember the fraud investigator from pnc he said that he was gonna call me in may you know it was just a matter of time and he'll tell me what to do no phone call she's sitting up there waiting can you imagine losing six hundred sixty one thousand dollars or even on the being on the brinks of that money being lost right so you sit in there and you're saying to yourself man did they take me did they get me or did they not you know so i could only imagine like the like the flush <laughs>